If you're finally looking to become a profitable trader in Forex, crypto or stocks in 2023, you might want to pay close attention to this video because I'm about to show you a super accurate buy and sell trading view indicator that might just take your trading career to the next level. This indicator is great at finding buy and sell entry points based on the market momentum, but we're going to combine it with other confirmation indicators to create a highly effective trading strategy. You may also want to stick around to the end of the video because towards the end, I will also backtest this particular strategy 150 times using a risk to reward ratio of one to two, just to see how this performs in different market conditions. Like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, head over to tradingview.com and the buy and sell indicator we're talking about is called the twin range filter. To add this indicator to the chart, navigate up to your indicators tab and type in twin range filter, which is this one here by Colin MCK. For this video, I will be using the Euro versus the US dollar on the one hour time frame, but you can use this strategy on any security, including crypto, stocks and Forex. Now we're going to be accessing this indicator settings and to do so you can just double click on it then head over to your inputs tab and we're going to be changing the fast period from 27 to 25 and our fast range from 1.6 to 1.5. So this indicator will be our entry confirmation indicator. When it gives a long signal we buy and when it gives a short signal we sell. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now for our second indicator we're going to be heading back up to the indicators tab and searching for volume, which is the regular volume here made by TradingView. Again, we're going to access its settings, so just double click on it. And in the style section, we're going to be turning on our volume moving average and changing its color to white. Then in our input section, we're going to be changing the MA length from 20 to 10. We will be using this indicator to determine if there is enough volume in the market to push the price in the direction of our trades. Whenever the histogram bar on the volume indicator is above the white MA line, we will be looking to take trades since this would indicate that there is enough volume in the market to push the price in the direction of our trades. But whenever the volume bar is below the MA line, we will not take any trades because this would basically mean that there isn't enough volume in the market. Last but not least, our third indicator we'll be adding to the chart is called Super Trend which is this one here. We're going to access this indicator settings as well. And in the input section, we're going to be changing the factor from three to five, then head over to your style section and uncheck the backgrounds and the plots. We will be using this indicator to identify the trends in the market. When it is green and the price is consistently above the line, it would be considered to be in a bullish trend. So we're only going to be looking to take long trades during this time. But when the line is red and the price is constantly below our line, this would be considered to be an embarrassed trend and we're only going to be taking short trades. Now let's understand the conditions for entering trades with this strategy. So here are the rules for entering a long trade. First, the super trend indicator should be colored in green and the price should also be trading above it. Second, the histogram on the volume bar indicator must be positioned above our white moving average. And then our last condition is for the twin range filter to print a new long signal. Once all of these conditions are met, we can safely enter into a long position. Our stop loss will be set just below our most recent swing low. And for our take profit target, we're going to be targeting two times the risk. Here's another example. As we can see here, the super trend is colored in green and the price action is trading above it. The histogram bar on our volume indicator is also sitting above our white moving average. And then finally, our twin range filter issued a new long signal. We will enter the trade on the close of our trigger candlestick, bring our stop loss down just below our most recent swing low. And once again, we will be targeting two times the risk. We're going to be doing the exact opposite when entering short trades. First, the super trend indicator must be colored in red and the price action must be positioned below it. Second, the histogram bar on our volume indicator must be positioned above our white moving average. And then the last condition is for our twin range filter to print a new short signal. 
Once we have all of these conditions met, we can safely enter a short position on the clues of our trigger candlestick. Our stop loss will be set just above our most recent swing high. And once again, we will be targeting two times the risk. Now you may be asking yourself, how does this strategy perform in different market conditions? Well, to answer that question, I'm going to backtest it 150 times using a risk to reward ratio of one to two. Our account size will be set at $1,000 and we're going to be risking 2% of that every time we take a trade. Let's get started. So after backtesting this strategy 150 times, we see that the win rate was 64%. This is really good for a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 2. The gain on the account was 1350% over a backtesting period of 9 months. It had a solid profit factor as well of 3.56 and we had 8 consecutive wins against 4 consecutive losses and our max drawdown was 7.76%. Now to improve this, I would probably change the settings on our twin range filter. I would maybe increase the fast period and also our fast range, maybe even the slow period as well. I would just play about with this and then I'd probably add a different volume indicator. I would probably replace it with our heat map volume indicator. If you have any questions about this strategy, please ask them down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.